Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cos Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Roman Empire Lover. But right now, we got to talk about advanced military research. And about the war we just completed, but by centralizing our military research and focusing on one area of military technology at a time, our research and development system can be much more efficient and effective. Which we've gone ahead and... Well, I've done a lot of the focuses, as you can tell on screen here, but with the Red Army now in place, or really the Roman Empire military apparatus, it is time for the research committee to help put better focus on our efforts. Advanced electronics, further tank research, rocketry nuclear stuff. Well, I don't even know what we're doing. It's 1941. Um, where are we at? We have not done too much nuclear stuff. Tanks, okay. The radar and electronic stuff. Where, where am I going? Uh, uh, yeah, that'd be good to do. Nuclear... Radar, yeah, I'll probably use those most anyway, so, but let's go to the next one, mobilize the people, we're not quite at war just yet, uh, but we'll come down here, Bebas and Gauls, Northern Africa rightfully belongs to us, not to the weak shell of European imperialism that seeks to bring civilization or native savages who must be brought to heal, ah, very good, and we use that anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, we finished off Austria off screen just because it just took a while, all, he, all we had to do, though, was capitulate Austria, and then the rest of the Danubian, or Dona Adriabund, uh, okay, collapsed, so then all we need was Austria. What the heck is that? There's Nation, ooh, Nation of Islam. I have to play as him again. Oh, 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 what the? How does it, PSA, American Union State collapsed. This is a very weird timeline, but the Nation of Islam actually exists. Got a bunch of clannies over there, which ah, I keep forgetting I need to play as this nation. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. The true lost tribe is found. A black pantheon. Assuming leadership of Pan-Africa. Okay, then. Alright. Something I thought I would never see, but okay. Sure, why not? Why not? But yeah. Um, overall, not bad. Uh, we have a lot of war goals on the coming of France, Portuguese Empire, Hellenic Republic, and Bulgaria. But unfortunately, Bulgaria is with the Reich's Pact. Who we're probably going to attack next, in all honesty. Oh, they don't know Adrian Boone. So, the right specs, we're going to need a lot more divisions. Also, took out Switzerland just because. Why not? So, and we're going to, of course, establish our dentist claims in Istria, once part of the domain of Venice. Istria is properly Italian territory and is in our interest to establish more permanent claim on the region, which is good. Also, I did make sure that we just annexed everybody, military occupation all the way. Um, so, yeah, we have that. Uh, past Berbers and Gaul. Is it Gaul? Gaul. Gaul. Gauly G. Uh, we'll get more war support that way. Arabs and Parthians. Eh, that's probably the best way for that one. It is, like I said, 41. But get some better close air support. Keep making way more divisions because we are really, really, really lacking right now. And you guys are doing okay. Uh, the Serbs do have ships and stuff, so. Moving on that. So, Bubs and Gauls followed up with what? The Vikings? We can't even do organized Pan Europa, so. And we've got some comments to go through as well. But after this. Can you have a doctrine? Three more dockyards? Yes, please. Off of stuff, we're expanding our shipbuilding facilities. It should be the dockyards at Taranto. Very good. But some comments include. Uh, yeah. Someone says, yeah, ID IDK, but maybe you need to do a mocha recipe just for the lols. Maybe. Someone says, when am I going to play as a National Protection Army in TNO? That's a good question. The person also asks, why do you keep the SRI title on the bottom if you're National Populist? Just because that's a nation we started as. I usually just keep the nation that we started as in the title. So, um... It is what it is. Someone else says it would be super hilarious to th see. I think Kazuridex do a full insane Goringia, literally turning Africa into a giant poppy field and black market haven. Also in the same mod, it would be sick to see George Lincoln Rockwell car in America, which I'd need to do sometime. And all the crazy hilarious pop as national pop as Volksfriend Goebbels can get. So, cool. Did you try and do a Mussolini? I don't think I've ever tried to get Mussolini before. And someone says you should do a the pan-European path. Everyone else has done the European, the Roman path. Go with... Pan European instead of Roman path. Cool. We'll see what we can do. Ah, uh, we have a blueprint. Why not do that, anyways? Turn over military factories, some refineries, which we need, some more civvies, and some roads, which roads aren't bad. Um, because we need to be energy independent. We got plenty of rubber, actually, which is very nice. Mm, we prove naval bomber twos as well, huh? Do we have any naval bomber twos? Or naval bombers? In no, we don't. Okay, well, that's a mistake. I definitely need some naval bombers. We're making some mechanized of all things as well, apparently. Uh, some more anti-air would be very good. We could use some more military factories. Uh, I'm going to buy two probably for now. Even though we're going to need quite a few more. So let's get at least two military factories going on at all times. And maybe we'll add in another dockyard. Because why not? Hey, you can go, uh, go to war for Belgrade. 
Not a bad idea. I'll stop training now, my friends. Because these divisions, 54 of them, not bad. 27 combo with. They're f uh, 4x3s, I guess you could say. With anti-air, not a bad thing. But at the same time, who else are we going to go to war with? Romanians? Even though we were going to have an alliance. Oh. Italian-Roman opinion of them is very low. Their opinion of us is very high. Hmm. Good revoke revo revo guarantee. No stepping back. Unionist is zeal. It's not bad. Or maybe we'll go to war with the Albanians first. Okay, Albanians. We have a claim state anyway, so. Very nice. Oh, that goes East Turkestan. Very good, very good. French aerial expertise, eh? Well, that's a lot of green. Well, for the most part, fall of Washington. Goodbye, Washington. Goodbye, scum. Oh, encircled and obliter literally obliterated. Wow. Okay, not bad. <coughs> not bad. Belgrade is completely cut off. Ah, oh, y'all love to see it. Wow, we got a lot of army XP as well. Uh, do some of that stuff too, actually, on Istria. Don't really need to do that. Um, I want more stability in all honesty instead. But grab some war propaganda, do some of that too. Uh, oh, well, I guess we're... Oh, okay. We're about to lose a lot of political power too, so... Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. But yeah, fighting the Reichsback is probably going to be the biggest thing here. Maybe I should have waited to go to war with them, so because we, that means we have to fight Bulgaria too. We need a, a just massive amount of soldiers. That's because we have the Moscow Accord, of course, over here. But we need all this guarded, and then some of this guarded as well, so... We'll see. We'll definitely see. That's why we're trying to make a lot of divisions right now. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of divisions. But overall, I like using a lot of artillery. Oh, hold on. Liberia, what are you... You're looking kind of thick, Liberia. National populace, the Grand Master. Oh, tell me you have a unique focus reef. Oh my goodness, the Star of Africa. Assess the military. Status of secret societies. Empower the Poro. Wow. It's very cool. But thank you, uh, Serbia. Thank you for playing. Albania, you're next. Because Indo Chinese Union, goodbye as well. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Um, up next, we still have one, two ish, one ish, two ish. Not bad. Getting more fuel as well. Albania should fall relatively quickly. We're just going to need a lot of divisions for this because we want to annex all these guys as much as possible. Um, resistance is not bad. Militia is not bad. We need more anti air now. And grab some of that too because we can. It shouldn't take too much longer to go to war with them, but you never know. Ooh. We'll build them up here just because I want to save some of this area for dockyards. I don't want to have a ton of dockyards, but I want quite a few of them, so. Let me do that. Do we have any other ships being made? No? Okay, then. We do have three carriers and five battleships, which is not bad. Could be better, though. Could be better. But he's hopefully learning. Alright, so after that, because we do have claims on these guys, we're about halfway there. The Social Democrats, Anthony Rustemi. Status of fate in Montenegro. Not Serbia, but Montenegro. Firmly in our hands. Oh, boy. Oh! Well, there goes USA and West Grand Center, but Montenegro is not firmly held in our hands after our occupation of the area, yet we can't stay in inhospitable Montenegro forever. Gotta decide what to do with it. Wow. Man, them dockyards. Very nice. Um, destroyers or subs? Second piece of honor. Oh! Is this doomed to repeat itself? Okay. Interesting. Now, I kind of figured that would happen, but still. Very laggy. Oh, oh, France probably being released as a puppet. That's what's going on. Which is fine. But then, of course, we'll have to go to war with Albania, as well as some others very soon. Wow. And ship contracts. In order to modernize and expand our fleet, we need to look at warring and contract one of our major shipbuilding companies, Naval Training. Most of our admirals believe in the old ways, with ships and tactics dating back to the first Valkyrie. While they feel comfortable in the ways, we, they need to be reminded that we lost that war, and we do not need intend to. Ten, Lose the next. Awarding naval contracts. We have two union-owned and operated shipyards which are vying for the government contracts. One, the Cantieri Navelli Orioniti, specializes in smaller ships, while the other, the Cantieri Navelli Livorno, specializes in capital ships. We have to select where our focus is. Light hull attack, heavy hull, sub, torpedo attack. Ooh. The Livorno, huh? Decks? Ooh, bigger deck size, though. More max range. Ooh, torpedo, torpedo attack from subs. More range? Light hull. Uh, 
Uh, which, which which doctrine do we go with? I forget. So we want fleet and being focused on battleships. Well, I'll go do that one. Why not? Even though this one's probably mm, battleships, mm, heavy ships, slide attack. Ah, uh, we'll do that one. Why not? Cool. But we'd also do stuff like favorite subs. We should favor subs as a key centerpiece of the navy. Support light cruisers. As part of our plan to focus on subs, we should focus on the development of light cruisers. Expand in Palermo of dockyards. Our second stop for expanding the shipbuilding facility should be the dockyards of Sicily, second only to Tarant, to docks and equality. Battle cruisers. We should focus on the development of more advanced battle cruisers. Legionary Marines. Regardless of our policy in the nature and focus on the Navy, we should support the Marines and make sure that our Marines are given the support they need. Favorite dreadnoughts versus carriers. Uh, we should favor carriers as a centerpiece, key centerpiece of the Navy versus dreadnoughts. We should favor dreadnoughts as a key centerpiece of the Navy. Well, everyone, apparently the Union of Eurasian Republics declared war on the Romanian Legionary Kingdom. And and if we remember correctly, we do have them justified, or not justified, but told that we'll be well, them out they were to get declared war upon, so... I guess we're having a little detour. We're not going to go to war with Germany right now. We're going to go to war with the Russians. Because who doesn't want to kill off a couple of Russians right now? <clears throat> you attack our neighbors and expect us to not do anything about it? What's wrong with you, my friend? If only you didn't. In which, actually, because they're doing this, I'm probably just going to take them out anyways. I'm probably going to eat them all up. Nash pa Pacification Army. That's kind of cool. Public Chun do be looking like a big old boy. Oh, wait, they ended their house. Wait, what? Bruh. Did you just get us in the war so that we fight this war for you? Are you kidding me, bro? Zietomir? Well, wait, no. We want Kiev. Kiev. Well, looks like we chopped a couple Russian boys here. Looks like they're going to die now. Oh, more Russian boys. Oh, where do these guys come from? Oh, and they're, they're down like crazy. I love it. How many divisions do they have? I got quite a few. We have 109, which is... I'd say pretty darn good. But, like... This is very weird that, um... Well, watch out, Iran's been calling the war. Watch out now. Um, that they just pieced out. I mean, the Finns beat them. Look how good Finland did. They got, they're got they basically greater Finland now. So... Total state of Africa, that sounds amazing. What is going on? Holy shnikes, that's a big Liberia. Which African empire... People's to totalitarian. Obama? Wait, I gotta play as Obama. Totalists. Kenya were born Obama Pan Africa, which I'm sure a lot of people play as. Divine leader? Well, God dang it, Kaiser Redux. I, I, I was so pissed off at this mod in the past, and I sometimes I am still. But, oh my goodness. I love what the devs do as much as I sometimes am extraordinarily frustrated with the devs. But, like, oh my goodness. That's exciting. That, that, oh. I love what they do. Sometimes I don't like some of the choices that they do make, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we don't have the supply bases really much done. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, losses, 2,000 versus... Holy crap. What is wrong with Russia? Why are you so weak? 241. You get better radar, but first we're going to grab all this other stuff first. Adair bad. Vietnam. I mean, do we have air superiority? We have mixed air. We do have anti-air on our guys, but still. I mean, I wanted to go to war with Germany, but... Alright. It's not bad. Keep doing well. Beat the living schnikes out of them. Um, yeah. Well, they have unfinished land reform, which helps out, I guess, but doesn't really hurt them in terms of combat. Experience... Army is pretty good for them. Eurasianism is a fun thing to have. National High Command Formation School is pretty decent too. Experienced military is very good as well. Not bad. Okran is pretty good too. Industrialized Nation. Min Prom, which is not great for construction people. Good for everything else. Um, that doesn't really hurt them militarily. They got a lot more political power though. Holy crap. And Fruits of the Open Door, I mean, they really have no excuse to why they're not, why they're not doing well, but okay, whatever. Whoa. Whoa. Germany just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Could be an issue. Oh. Nice. Of course, we have to deal with that group down there, too, but still. Oh, are they releasing them? Maybe. Cool. Not bad. I mean, yeah, the Crimea is going to be kind of an issue, but we'll double back around there. How are we, how are we doing this well? 
I mean, we did have some spies over there as well, but still. Cool. Um, we'll throw on another general because we're going to need one for the Crimea and other places too. Should, at this point, we might try to invest some tanks. Oh, no, we'll see. Uh, messy. There we go. Nice. Good stuff. Want more? Nice. Keep shoveling divisions into here for now. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we need General. General Andrea P Pianelli. Master Pianelli, please go right ahead. Colonial rule, hold on in the Congo. Wait, what? Well, Pierre is pretty happy about that. Alright, I'm gonna get some uh, Mountaineers too. We're basically just infantry, but Mountaineer wise. Or Mountaineer like. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, spreading us out is gonna be a little more costly from here on out, but still, it's not bad. All right, Palermo Dockyards, we'll take them and do all the rest of stuff down here in air training schools. Before we begin upgrading our planes, uh, we'll need to upgrade our training methods. We need the best pilots to test out our, our experimental aircraft, pretty much. Oh, wow. Are they really stacking down here? You break through here, you break through here, Sevastopol will fall like any other city. And we've got some... Uh, we're making quite a bit here. Motorized is not bad to have either. I'm not sure how much motors I actually do want. I want a lot of infantry. So let's go cut down by cut, cut down by two, because I do want to make some mechanized eventually as well. So I'll start throwing on some armor. Uh, heavy boys. Eh, we like them heavy. If the boys ain't heavy, we don't want them. Let's really uh, focus on some subs, maybe, too. Subs are pretty good. There's a lot. There's never enough research slots. Just never enough. Yeah, I don't understand why they're so easy. How did Romania just back out of the war immediately? Did they just give up Bessarabia? No, they didn't. That literally makes no sense. Nice. War propaganda against them? I mean... Screw it, why not? Oh, we need more manpower. We really need... Oh, my goodness. Of course, we are on total mobilization as well. That is that is true. Um, get some radar, maybe. Get some more air bases around here. Some more radar down here, just in case. And then we'll probably drop total mobilization. Goes back to war economy. Because at this point, with 278 factories is pretty decent, not going to lie. It's pretty darn decent. Do we have enough command power yet? No, yes. Billy J. Oh, and there it goes. That that beast treaty. No, you're doing it like that. Whatever. Nice. Of course, we already have all our tactics here. Ship stuff, not so much, but that's okay. We're not really using our ships too much. Goodbye, Russian boys. Oh, Eurasian boys. Nice. It begins. Oh yeah. There you go. Two more. Two more divisions. Gonna go bye bye. And we're also going to get Iran. And that'll give us access to Germany down through here. And here, that's going to be so awkward. Well, I'd imagine, I did not imagine this episode we'd be get, basically be going, or getting third Rome already. These guys are not bad. Join some combo with as well. Speedy boys, or at least I'm going to hope to make them real speedy, speederinos. Uh, Moscow, of course. And you go... Right there, maybe? One v one with their light tanks, you can still pierce them. Which means light tanks are just not that great. I really don't want to go to service by requirements, so let's drop it down now. Nice. Follow Moscow? Great! I'm sure quite a few people would like to see that right now happen in real life. But, whatever. We're not here to talk about that. In another campaign, perhaps. Do 
Do they not have like equipment? They're doing subs in Kamchatka. That's probably the wrong thing to do right now. Wait, can you not choose who you want to choose? Huh. Build dams on the Volga, well. Huh. I guess they did a lot of the other stuff, but still. Get the Petrograd. Nice. Anyone else want tactics or anything like that? Level 7. Giuseppe Izzo. For tactics. 5554. Five, four, four. Nice. Yeah, our guys are very experienced overall. You guys did a great job so far. Oh, uh, it's gonna be crappy fighting through here. Sorry, right, though. They just can't hold us back for some reason. Like, hold on. How, how good are the divisions? They don't look that bad. They look exactly like ours. Well, of course, it does help that we have air superiority. We don't have that many planes. We can sell for more planes. We don't have that many. What? Do they not... We're out of manpower. Uh, do they not develop any planes themselves? Palermo Dockyards. Honestly, I'm probably not even just gonna... I know it doesn't make any sense for us to keep them like this, but like... We'll have one big old Roman Empire. Why not? We'll keep a big old Roman Empire. Nice. I just like a big... Oh, we can mobilize people too. With the military now well established, we must mobilize people and begin a rapid build of our armed forces. And why not? We can always lower it if we need to. Nice. We cut them off here. We cut them off from the capital somewhat. Caucasian state, huh? A lot of divisions to fight through. Over a million of them have died so far. Good. We're going to go right there. How about right here? You cut these guys off. Potentially. Nice. Slowly closing in on, in on around them. Horse defense, huh? Not bad. Yeah. Green air helps out so much. Do we have any extra planes? Slightly more casts. Ooh, we can get that towel. Yes, yes, yes. Cut him off. We cut him off. If we had ships here, that'd be better, but still. These guys are going to die. These guys are going to die. That's all that matters to me. Oh wow, you guys are really fighting until you literally all die off, too. Dead? Dead? They still have more divisions than us, though, so. Yeah, the extra push on here does not hurt at us at all. Hey, very nice. The rest of the front should be really hurting it. They definitely are. Why is this so easy? It's my question. Nice. Oh, Petrograd. Oh, is it Petrograd supposed to be up here? Oh, maybe they moved the city? Because they did go in against them, huh? Wow. This is wow. Oh my goodness. Maria Boc Bocareva. Well, it's ours now, which means this front's gonna be even more difficult to fight now on, but that's okay. Why is it so easy? Why are they so weak? Eurasia was so much fun to play as when I played as them before. I'm trying to go back and play as them again, but still. Advanced sub daddies? Advanced carrier carrier daddies? Uh sub threes are fine to make. They're actually pretty strong. As long as you got enough naval XP. Mm, that's not worth making yet. Fiats. Not bad. Very nice. As long as it's just very nice. Attack bombers. 
<clears throat> oh, make a lot of attack bombers too. We're gonna need more manpower though. Uh, we can probably by four. Oopsie, wrong one. To lower. Oh well. Oh, we're well, mobilizing again. Gruppi de Defesa della Donna. The young minister Ada Gobetti has put forward a motion to create the Gruppa de Defesa della Donna or Women's Defense Groups. This shall be an organization to train female soldiers and include all female units. Moreover, by giving support to the group, it will encourage more women to enlist in the army to defend the revolutionary ideals we are fighting for. Alright. We're still fighting down here. And then fighting over river does suck, but like... These guys will eventually all die off. We lost a lot of men. Half a million is not good, but still a 3 to 1 casualty ratio, so overall... Of course, it does hurt our ability to wage war against the Reichs Pact since now we have so much more of a border around here, which is ridiculous. And then there, and then there, and right there, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. So they're down to 169 divisions max, okay. What's your strength like now? Okay, they're out of manpower like us, even though we're still mobilizing quite a bit more. We're mobilizing a lot. 13 and a half percentage. Stockpile, they got plenty of artillery, maybe. They got quite a few guns still. Quite unfortunate to look at. That's fine, whatever. Get some more uh, radar. Radar really helps. And air. Force it. Do not let them move. And do not die. Well, if you die yourself, then so be it, whatever. Uh, grab some better logistics. It's a little bit ahead. Actually, no, it's not ahead of time. Happy 1942, everybody. Actually, how is, uh, resistance is going way down all over the place, which is great. Compliance 30% around here, 30-ish percentage around here as well. Um, uh, 21% over here. Oh, another carrier? Well, nice. Nice. Very good. Keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, they must be mobilizing more, maybe. We got a Katharinburg we need to capture down there, around here. That as well. Thank you. And do that too. Keep going in if you can, guys. Keep trying to kill them all off. Words out of manpower, a whole bunch. Gadget yeah, missing 60,000 manpower. Nice. Anything else here? Get your expert. Good, good, good. We're missing anything else about manpower? No, we have, we have enough of everything except artillery probably soon. Artillery is looking pretty darn not good. I'll probably run out of that. We need more attack bombers, of course. But after that one, we'll keep doing a lot of this stuff. Air training schools and maybe even uh, fighter efforts. As part of our campaign, Rule of Skies, we should invest resources into our fighters. And here we are at, everyone, 1943 March. And as you can tell, like I normally do on the uh, campaigns, I annex everybody. Which has ruined our stability, war sport, and political power. But what else is new? And I know some people don't like it when I do that. But the Far East is filled with foes who will make for great warfare. Including our own foes in Iran. Meanwhile, Western influences erode in the vitality that the Wahhabists are desperately attempting to rescue from modern modernist Muslims, socialists, and mercantilists. Let's kill two birds with one stone. The barbarians. The Huns have done humanity a great service in the first great war by pushing back against the forces of modernist republicanism. But now they simply use their position to feed a lazy, limp, wristed aristocracy and the capitalist desires of holding off war with socialists for as long as possible. It's time for Rome to take on the barbarian hordes once for all and restore their vitality. Pretty much, man, pretty much. And we're also probably going to grab signal companies and grab some of this stuff too. Yes, please. But now it is time for us to have a little bit of fun down here and see what we can do with some good old uh, boy Renos. And come on, guys, get to the line. Because now we're going to war with a lot of people here, including Egypt and not Iraq. Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh, we need more political power to do that. Well, which does kind of suck that we can't go to war immediately. But it is what it is. But let's read a couple more books, such as the Vikings. Scandinavia was once a bastion of warrior virtues, expecting its ruling class to engage in warfare and plunder. But look upon it now, an outlet of leftism and consumerism that is less than a shadow of the beauty it once was. It must right the wrongs of the present. Naval aircraft. 
As part of a plan to focus on aircraft carriers, we should focus on the development of naval aircraft. CAS efforts. As part of a campaign to support the Army from the air, we should invest resources in the CAS aircraft capability of actively performing ground support. Bomber efforts. As part of our campaign to support the Army from the air, we should invest resources in the bombers. Red paratroopers. As part of our campaign to support the Army from the air, we should invest resources in training paratroopers as a culmination of our combined, air, combined forces doctrine. Maintenance schools. We should focus on maintenance schools to keep our planes up in the air longer and legionary jets. We should focus on jet technology to make our Air Force the most modern Air Force in the world. Sounds like a pretty good idea overall. Alright, so we did that. Now I'll improve engines, do some Viking stuff. But I think that's where we're going to end it here for today. A little short of a video, but didn't plan on taking out Third Rome. In the next episode, we will definitely, definitely take out the Reich's Pact. Which is going to be a gigantic pain in the butt, but it'll be worth fighting. And try to reunite the rest of all the tribes here as well. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're really going to finish killing off everyone else and really restoring the rest of the Roman Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.